Good morning friends. I hope everyone is doing well. I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding. If you really like my videos, please press the like button, share the videos with your friends, subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button to get the regular updates. In this video, I want to discuss about what is an error and what is the single bit errors, what is the multi bit or burst errors. Then we will discuss about how can we detect an error and error detection strategies. Then we will discuss about error correction strategies. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for a better understanding. So let me discuss what is an error. Okay. Now source is transferring some data and destination want to receive the data. Now source has sent the data as 101010. Okay. Some data it has sent and it will be traversed by using a transmission medium. Either it can be a uh, guided or wired transmission medium or it can be an unguided transmission medium. Suppose it is transferring using a some transmission medium and because of noise the data is corrupted. Am I right? The data is corrupted and it is changed to 100110. Are you able to understand? Source has sent the data as 101010. Now because of some noise in the during the transmission, the destination is received as 100110. Now if you see that it is an error. Why it is an error? Whatever the source has sent, the destination has not received exactly. Am I right or wrong? Is it clear? So if you see how many bits are changed here, it was previously 10, it was changed to 01. So it is a 2 bit error. Are you able to understand? Suppose the source has sent 100110. Because of noise during the transmission, the destination is received as 100010. Now if you see that again there is an error which is a 1 bit error because here it was source has sent it as 1, the destination has received it as 0. Are you able to understand? So it is a 1 bit error. Now you can ask me sir one bit error what will happen is it clear suppose let's take that you are sending a message at let's go to movie at 9 am okay no movies will open let's take that you want to go to a, a restaurant at morning 9 am just for example okay but the your friend has received this message as 9 pm is it clear then what will happen it was single bit error only meaning is that of course it is a, a one character is eight bits just I want to tell it is a one error am I right now see how much things are happened is it clear if it is opposite gender you will know the third world war will happen am I right or wrong okay so we should not like just casual that one bit error two bit error all these things but whatever you are sending the receiver is not receiving so if it is a one bit error we'll call it as a single bit errors if it is more than one bit then we will say that burst errors now the first thing is that these errors who will take care this error detection and error correction who will take in osa we have seven layers am i right or wrong which layer will take care about this error detection and error correction the two layers will take care am i right or wrong if you have watched the functionalities of the OSI layers in one of my video you can understand the error detection and correction can be done at the data link layer and also at the transport layer okay now you can ask me such the same data why you are doing the error detection and error correction at different layers this one will take care about the hop to hop data link layer will always worry about the hop to hop communication whereas transport layer will worry about the end to end communication now you can ask me what is a hop to hop communication let's take that you have a source and you have a destination between the source you have a router r1 from router R1, you have a router R2, then you have a destination. Now, 
first the source has to transfer the data to router R1 then router R1 will send the data to router R2 then router R2 will send the to the destination why it is happening let's take that source and destination are not in a means very short distance they are in very long distance then we use the routers to forward the packets okay now if it is a data link layer it will only worry about the hop to hop communication the sender is sending to router r1 whether it has delivered to router r1 correctly or not it will check similarly when router r1 is sending to r2 then again data link layer whatever the r1 is sending r2 has received successfully or not same as not it will check similarly when r2 is sending the data to the destination again it will check so we will call the data link layer as hop to hop whereas transport layer will check about the end to end communication whatever the source has sent whether the destination has received successfully or not means whatever the source port because the transport layer we have a service point address even it is called as a port number which is a 16 bit number so whatever the source port has sent whether the destination port has received correctly or not it will check now you can ask me sir if the hop to hop is perfect then obviously end to end communication will work yeah i will agree with you is it clear are you able to understand if all your steps are correct then your algorithm will be correct am i right or wrong okay so the data link layer we will do the error correction error control we will say that it is an error control even the transport layer even we will do the error control we will discuss what are the strategies we will use at the data link layer and what are the strategies we will use at the transport layer so i hope you have understood what is an error what is a burst errors what is a single bit errors and which layer of the osa will take care now let me discuss about what are the error detection strategies are there then we will discuss about error correction strategies we have parity bit error checking parity bit checking like we have even parity odd parity all these things we will discuss then we also have the crc which is cyclic redundancy check cyclic redundancy check okay and then we have check sum these all are the error detection because if you want to correct the error you should first detect the error so all this parity bit checkers crc cyclic redundancy check check sum will be useful for you to identify or detect there is an error now once you detect the error you should be in a position okay where that bit error is occurred now then you have to correct the error once you identify that the bit error is happened at this position if you understood that then you have to correct it how you will correct in place of one because one was like let's take that here zero has come the source has sent it as one the destination is received as zero if we can identify that the error is occurred at this location then obviously what we can do we can correct it how we can correct it in place of zero if we change it one we can correct it because we understood that zero came and it was an error alternate for zero is what one because this data is in the forms of zeros and ones only okay so these are the error detection strategies and we have error correction strategy which is a hamming code now you can ask me in which layer i will use the checksum in which layer i will use the crc cyclic redundancy check the data link layer will use the crc and the transport layer protocols will use the checksum i hope you have understood what is an error single bit errors multi bit errors and which layers will take care and what are the error detection strategies are there and what are the error correction strategies so in the coming videos we will discuss each strategy in detail with few examples i hope you have understood what are the concepts i have discussed in this video if you still have any doubts feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours if you really like my video please press the like button 
share the videos with your friends subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button to get the regular updates thank you for watching my video have a nice day